a very warm afternoon to honorable dignitaries and all my fellow participants myself pragnya sulke msc forensic science first year student from government institute of forensic science now first of all i deem it a great honor and privilege to present myself in these enlightening conflicts i am here with forensic necropsy of wildlife as my topic for today uh, so can we move forward presently there is a huge potential rise in uh, wildlife cases including the animal abuse animal killing and in any other infringement of wildlife laws thus there is a rise in need of evidence also that could be acceptable in court of law here comes the role of necropsy necropsy in its simple terms means the post mortem examination of animal to determine the cause mode and the manner of death of the animal being examined and when this technique is used in legal settings for forensic investigation it is termed as forensic necropsies the role of performing the forensic necropsies is to the veterinary pathologist who has a well training and prop and is experienced in the field and also is well acquainted with the uh, standard operating procedures and to the prescribed protocols in the advocated uh, it is advocated is recommended in the cases where there is Uh, where the death of animal is uncertain and determining the death uh, cause of the death becomes cheap it plays a major role in the, in the cases involving endangered species because as now uh, in on this date we, there is a high need to conserve these animals and thus the this uh, as the uh, necropsy gives the good cause of death it would be it, it would be definitely assessed to save animals from to, uh, from those other species moving to the next i would like to uh, put some light on how necropsy differs from autopsy there is no such particular difference in it but the ne- word, there is the only verbal difference in it that is the word necropsy is derived from two words that is the necro and opsis which translates into to see the dead whereas the autopsy is derived from two latin words auto and opsis which translates into to see self that's the only difference is that the um and necropsy refers to the postmortem examination of any uh, any uh, individual any body but the autopsy is specifically defined for human body and apart from this there is no specific difference the procedure is same but uh, leaving expect some uh, expect uh, because uh, uh, there is a difference in the anatomy of human body and the animal body moving to the next i would like to discuss the procedure for necropsy uh, the procedure includes the external examination the internal examination and the last one is sampling and forwarding the external examination involves scanning and documenting the whole external body to uh, for any skin abnormalities uh, for bleeding from natural open or if, uh, open or ifeses uh, or some uh, skin, um, injuries firearm injuries or some other injuries and, uh, in this uh, the imaging techniques are also utilized including the radio uh, radiographic techniques mri computer tomography and many others after the external examination comes the internal examination that is inter- inspecting the internal body cavities the internal organs for weight uh, weight size texture color and many other aspects and uh, here the b- whole um, the first procedure the first step is skinning process where the uh, here it differs from autopsy because Uh, autopsy doesn't include the step of skinning after this uh, the uh, the all the body organs are opened dissected and the contents and lumens are examined after the bo- after the body organs the bones are also uh, in, uh, inspected for presence of any fractures after the internal examination completed it is photographed and documented properly for any findings then comes the sampling and the forwarding last is the sampling and the forwarding where the tissue samples are collected viscera samples are collected and are sent forward are forwarded for some other ancillary tests which includes histopathologic examination um, toxicologic examination ballistic examination and many such other examinations uh, moving further Uh, i would like to discuss the forensic significance of necropsy which includes the first is the determination determination uh, the cause de- cause of death species determination age determination uh, determination of post mortem interval and other pathological findings um, determination of post mortem interval can be easily done from the uh, sequential physical and chemical changes that occurs in the body after the death Uh, by knowing the specific time period for it and uh, where when it commences when it becomes fixed and and other factors influencing it the, the post mortem interval can be easily known by the necrovertinary pathologist other than this uh, there is also one other application that it helps in maintaining the animal health records and um, for the national surveillance system because uh, now as prote- as the protecting wildlife it's a need to uh, maintain their health records to see and to increase the number uh, and increase their numbers 
moving to the next uh, coming to an end i would like to uh, discuss some case studies i have mentioned here two and i would like to mention the third case study uh, that is of the, uh, the the where the dead elephant was found in mudikkal forest region uh, range of ernakulam district kerala uh, the forest officials filed a complaint against uh, uh, against the uh, manot of the elephant that is the who takes care of the elephant because he was the first accused person and when the necropsy report came it resulted it concluded that the only reason for the death of the elephant was the traumatic injury that was found in the left or the right leg of the elephant which resulted for the resulted in infection and these two were the reasons why the death occurred in elephant and this is uh, this is how the uh, in many cases forensic necropsies uh, have assisted in prosecution and convictions uh, now i would like to end uh, my presentation to uh, concluding that there is uh, much more to learn to learn in the field of uh, veterinary pathologist and it needs the attention of almost attention of the uh, researchers so that we can get more advancements in it and uh, more such uh, uh, researches in it so that the necropsy and the wildlife are protected well and endangered species are protected well thank you these are my references here